हेलो गाइस वेलकम टू आवर चैनल विद्या नगरी थैंक यू फॉर योर लव एंड सपोर्ट डोंट फॉरगेट टू कमेंट शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब आवर चैनल एंड डो फॉलो आवर पेज ऑन फेसबुक टुडे आई विल डिस्कस अबाउट हेलमेंथिस सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड पैरासाइट्स इन जनरल आर ग्रुप एस हेलमिन पैरासाइट्स एंड आर्थोप्रोड्स today i'll discuss about helminth parasites their basic characteristics and life cycle helminth parasites are divided into two major groups these are platyhelminthes and nematohelminthes these are the phylum Again, divided into Trematode, Eusystode, and Cotyloda. And phylum Nematohelminthes forms Nematoda. Now let's learn in details about Trematoda. Trematoda are divided into three major groups. These are Dygenia, Monogenia, and Espidogastria. Here, all digenic fluids are the parasite of animal and human. Monogenia are the parasite of cold-blooded vertebrates like fish. amphibia etc and espidogastria are the parasite of mollusks or crustacea here only the digenia subclass has fluid parasites of veterinary and medical importance Now let's discuss in details about Dygenia. So Dygenia is basically flat, leaf-like structure. Example: fasciola or thick, fleshy body. Amphistome. or sometimes they are cylindrical in nature like blood fluid oral sucker is present anterior to the body and ventral sucker is present at the anterior half of the body they are known as diastome but in some cases only oral sucker is present they are known as monostome and in some animal oral sucker and now let's see the morphological structures present in trematode they are known as emphystom it contain mouth opening which is present usually at the anterior end surrounded by the oral sucker acetabulum it is followed by a muscular pharynx and esophagus and the intestinal cecum most of the trematodes absorb food through the general body surface while in some cases blood tissue cells serum etc are ingested through the mouth now let's come to the reproductive system the digenetic trematodes are usually hermaphrodite except for trematodes under the family cystosomatidae or the blood fluke in which the sexes are separate 
the male genital organs usually consist of two testes the vas efferentia unite to form the vas deferens which widens distally and the sperms are stored in vesiculum seminalis which may be outside or enclosed in the sira sac or pouch which is the terminal muscular bag like structure sirus pouch is surrounded by numerous unicellular prostate gland cell the male genital pore opens close to the female genital pore at the bottom of the genital atrium the female genital organs consist of an ovary which is usually slightly lobed a short oviduct arises from the ovary the duct soon receives the lower canal of which the function is obscure sac like receptaculum seminis joins the oviduct and then further o type will be there the o type is surrounded by numerous unicellular glands called malis glands which is collectively called the shell gland further it consists of excretory bladder and excretory pore flame cell is the major excretory organ Now let's see the life cycle of digenia. Digenic fluids are having indirect life cycle. They require various intermediate hosts to complete their life cycle. Here. the adult fluids are the endoparasite of their definitive or final host in majority of the trematodes eggs are deposited and pass outside through feces urine nasal discharge sputum etc in most species the eggs are deposited in water for further development they have five developmental stages these are myracidium sporocyst radia sarcaria and metasarcaria trematode eggs are having upper cuticulum the eggs will further develop and form myracidium this myracidium are small oval or pyriform structure having numerous cilia this myracidium active for few hours in search of suitable intermediate host the intermediate host are the snail which acts as first intermediate host and the second intermediate host are fish and grasshopper etc
this mediastinum further develop by losing their ciliated cord and form sporocyst these sporocysts are thin undifferentiated structure having large number of germinal balls sporocyst will further develop and form daughter sporocyst or radia Poros radia is elongated and much more muscular structure than sporocyst their mouth is present at the anterior part further this radia form sarcaria this sarcaria have tail sucker intestine excretory and nervous system glands seen with naked eyes due to their larger size and active movement this sarcaria further leave the snail which act as first intermediate host and they will encyst in second intermediate host or in vegetation and then the this encysted form undergo physiological maturation and form metasarcaria inside the second intermediate host this metasarcaria act as infective stage and this stage is ingested by the definitive host and complete the life cycle